Hi, I'm Solis Ruff, the Pamper Chef of Texas and also your Pamper Chef. We're in the kitchen today and hosting a party for Carolyn McDuff, who had asked us to focus on something that was a one pot recipe. And so we are going to be doing that tonight. We have our friend Matthew who came over for dinner tonight. And you know, if you're a good friend of mine, if you come over for my house for dinner, I'm probably gonna put you to work. So Matthew is going to be grating cheese and he's going to be using the Pepper Chef uh, grater, which is a really awesome tool. And so he's gonna get to, put, to work on that while I talk about today's recipe. Today we are making a sweet potato black bean casserole. And we're going to be using the Pamper Chef Rock Crock. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But first I want to get my rice on. So for the rice, I'm uh, serving this casserole alongside a lime and cilantro white rice. And so we are going to be using the Pamper Chef Quick Cooker, which is an amazing tool that I discovered a few months ago. And it is a pressure cooker that cooks food so quickly and so thoroughly I can't imagine how I looked without it before. So for rice, it's actually going to take just seven minutes to cook the rice. For a frozen chicken breast, you could put a solid frozen chicken breast in here and cook it in like 12 minutes or 17 minutes, I think, um, from frozen, which is amazing. So I've got my two cups of rice in here already, and I've got some uh, two cups of water with also the juice of about three limes. So I'm using my Pamper Chef Citrus Press, which is a really awesome tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze in just a little bit more lime into this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into the rice. I've also set aside a rough chop of just a little bit of cilantro. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there as well. has a locking lid and it makes a little audible sound when it makes the connection and then when I turn it it makes another audible sound. I'm going to turn the setting to rice. It has a number of different settings for like beef and fish and pork all have different cooking times so I'm just setting it on rice and I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. So it's now starting to come up to pressure. It takes about eight to 10 minutes to come up to pressure. And when it comes up to pressure, this little red indicator bar will pop up and let you know it's at pressure. And from that point, it will take four to seven minutes to cook. And when it's done, it's gonna give me an audible beep. And I'm going to release the pressure using this button here. And it's really great because the pressure of the steam rather escapes far away from you. So you're not going to get burnt. It's also a really light product with these great handles on the side so that you can carry it around the kitchen where you need it. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. And then we're gonna talk about today's recipe. So today's recipe, we're going to be using sweet potato. And I'm going to spiralize the sweet potato by using the Pamper Chef uh, vegetable spiral spiralizer. And so this is a great tool where you put your vegetable in here and you go ahead and crank the handle and it turns out uh, noodles, vegetable noodles, which is great because vegetable noodles are so much lower in carbs and much healthier for you than, uh, than typical pasta. So like a typical pasta might have 250 calories for one cup, but one cup of say zucchini is only gonna have about 17 calories. So big difference. So I'm gonna turn the handle on this. And if you see what's happening here is the blade is cutting it into spirals and it's just gonna come out the side here. Which is really fantastic. And I've got spiraled sweet potato. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the rock crock. And then in addition to the sweet potato, I'm gonna get some onion in there. So I've got my Pamper Chef manual food processor, which I love because I have a couple of different food processors, electric ones. I've got a big one and a small one. Both are really nice brand and really fancy with lots of attachments, but sometimes I just want to chop an onion. Like I don't want to 
bring out the whole rigmarole of all the different product and attachments and then have to take it apart and clean it. It's just a lot. So with this particular product, it's just a blade and a bowl. And I'm just gonna give the um, onion a rough chop. I'm using my Pamper Chef Roku knife, which is a five inch blade. And this is, it has a perfect feel in my hand, a good weight to it and super sharp. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Stick this in here. Here's the lid for it. I'm gonna release the lid, put that on there. And when you lower the handle, the blade inside turns. And so basically, the more you turn, the finer the chop. I'm gonna give this a little bit more of a chop, because I want a little bit finer of a chop on this onion. And when I'm done, I will chop two onions without even having to cry. <laughs> which is awesome. And so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this into our recipe. And then I'm going to stick this rock crock into the microwave for about six minutes. And I'm not gonna use the lid because I've got moisture in those potatoes and onions. I don't want this casserole to be too moist. So I'm hoping that the steam will take care of some of that. So let's see here minutes. And we'll get that going. So let me tell you a little bit about that rock croc. The rock croc is sort of the little black dress of cooking wear because it does everything. Our host tonight, Carolyn, said she wanted a one pot recipe. Well, I've got the one pot for you and that is the rock croc. It's made of ceramic and that wonderful coating that it has on the outside and inside was four years in the making. That pot is heatable up to 752 degrees. That pot is safe for the oven. It is safe for the stovetop. It is safe for the broiler. You can put it in the freezer. You can put it on a grill if you're barbecuing. And that pot is so great because it's just basic black. So you can take it to a barbecue because it's casual enough for that or you can serve it on a table and it looks fine with the rest of your cookware. It's a really good tool and I really do love it. That's my dogs. I am at home in my own kitchen. So I don't pretend that I'm not at home in my own kitchen. So I want to tell you that that rock crock is amazing. I want to tell you about the first time I knew I was going to love that pot. I made a French onion soup recipe. And so I went ahead and made the soup and then I went ahead and put the croutons and the cheese on top and then it went from the stove top to under the broiler it was all cheesy bubbly perfect i brought it out for the party people served themselves there was some left over i put it in the refrigerator at the end of the evening with the glass lid on it the next day i warmed it up in the afternoon to serve with sandwiches by just sticking it in the microwave all of that with one pot and when i was finished it went into the dishwasher so it's uh, probably my most versatile piece of cookware, and I love that rock croc. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the recipe. I've gone ahead and in my Pampered Chef stainless steel mixing bowl, done a rough chop up some more cilantro. I love these mixing bowls because they're stainless steel and the etching for the measurements is on the inside, so it's lasered in. And so, um, but it also has this big rubber bottom. So when you put it on the counter, it does not slide. You really have to push it to get it to slide. And so when you're using an electric mixer or something like that, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's got a handle spout here, a pour spout rather there, and a handle uh, hook here so you can carry it around the kitchen. They all come with a nice lid that you can seal so you can make a batter in advance and stick it in the refrigerator. So I've gone ahead and Put the cilantro in there. I've got one can of black beans that I've drained. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there as well. I've got some enchilada sauce in a smaller stainless steel um, pan chef mixing bowl. And enchilada sauce is kind of controversial in our home. Our family has all these different brands that they love the best. My sister loves La Victoria. Uh, my father loves Gephardt's. And I am impartial to um, 
Las Palmas chili sauce. And so uh, I'm using Gephardt's chili sauce today because they don't sell the brand that I like at H-E-B, so you'd have to go to Target for that. And I'm not gonna go to Target just to get sauce when I get everything else at the grocery store. So we're using Gephardt's enchilada sauce today, and I've gone ahead and mixed in some roasted tomatoes with some diced green chilies, and we're gonna put that between the layers. So when I get ready to put this together, I'm going to lay down some corn tortillas. I'm going to pour some enchilada sauce over it. I'm going to mix in the ingredients of the beans and the cilantro and the onion and the sweet potato and then layer it and in the rock rock and then stick the whole thing in the oven under the broiler with some cheese to melt. So we will be back in just a moment to show you when it's time to put it together. We are back. We went ahead and pulled the vegetables out of the microwave and I've gone ahead and mixed them with the black beans uh, that were in here as well as the cilantro. And I added a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon or a teaspoon rather of black pepper and a teaspoon of uh, cumino and so a uh, cumin. So we went ahead and put that in there and mixed it all up. And so now we're ready to assemble our casserole. So, oops, that is our rice telling us that it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off and release the steam. And that can release while we've gone ahead and assemble our casserole. So Matthew's got a special job of laying down three of these uh, corn tortillas in the bottom of the rock crock. And once those are evenly spaced, we're gonna go ahead and spoon some sauce on them. Too much sauce, I don't want to drown them. And then the filling between the layers, kind of spread out across the bottom to make it somewhat even. And then we're going to put some cheese on top of this. So Matt's going to put some cheese. Oh, that looks really good. I've not made this recipe before, but it does look good. It looks amazing. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and put down three more tortillas. Great. So the recipe calls for cooking the remainder of this into the microwave. I'm not the biggest fan of microwave cooking. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just a traditionalist and like to cook in the oven if at all possible. So um, I went ahead and used the microwave just to get the initial cooking out of the way, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off in the uh, oven. So I'm gonna be putting it in the oven at 350 degrees, probably for about 20, minutes or so, I'll check on it to see what it looks like after that, because essentially everything inside is kind of cooked. I'm just making sure that I get that ch uh, chance for the sauce to melt into the tortilla and the cheese to melt on top of the casserole. If it's still not melted, I'll go ahead and stick it under the broiler for 10 minutes, which is fine. Again, this pot is heatable up to 752 degrees, so I can, uh, the glass lid is not though, So, uh, but I would put it open face under the broiler to finish it off, but I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna find out. Uh, our rice is done and we should be back shortly to show you what the finished product looks like. <laughs> 